<laughs> hey guys, it's the Old World Gamer. Come back to you guys with the new collection builder episode. This time, a flea market episode. And this time, I picked up a couple of fun things. And I can't remember how much of it is. Not much. Let's leave the best items I have for last. That one, that one, and that one. That's a pickup one. I don't know if I showed you guys that one or not. Hmm, so some of the stuff isn't all, uh... So maybe I'll leave that to uh, for now. I'll just show you what it is. It's Pokemon XD. I've been talking about it for a while. And it's my next LP, actually. So, let's get right to it. First of all, uh, I picked up two games for a dollar for each of them, like 50 cents each, more or less, uh, for both of them, I should say, shit. 50 cents each, a dollar for both of them. First one being Lego Island. And um, one of the guys who I follow, and well, we both follow each other, I guess, um, if, uh, uh, the Coffee Bandit. I mentioned most recently in my Final Fantasy episode, and he's been LPing Lego Island. That's pretty cool. I didn't even realize that that I had that same game until now. I thought it was a different one for some reason. Next in this uh, awesome taped up shitty, oh man, is again got this for a dollar. Shark Tail, and yeah, that's tape keeping. Oh, pretending to keep this together at the bottom. So I said, hey, for a dollar and a new GameCube game, fuck it, I'll try it. It's probably a piece of shit, but why not? Next are some more original ones. Um, got these for, well, let's see. I got these two for, I think it was $5 each. First one being uh, Assassin's Creed, the very first one for Xbox 360. The second one being another Xbox 360, Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. Um, haven't played any of them yet. My Xbox 360 is still broken. It's been broken for about two years, if not longer now. And, I mean to fix it, I just, uh, I can't find the time and get around to doing it. I could have been doing it now, but then I'm going to have a new collection builder episode for you guys. Next, for two dollars, okay, for two dollars I got the Sonic Mega Collection for the GameCube. Oh, which includes Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, uh, Sonic and Knuckles, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Sonic Spinball, and Sonic 3D Blast. I haven't played um, the B Me Me Machine, Sonic 3, Sonic Knuckles all that much, um, and have never played Sonic 3D Blast ever, so that's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. Next, I got a new box game. Uh, I got it for $3, and believe me, it's not like, oh man, I needed to have that game, but for 3 bucks, I had to get it. Uh, it's in pretty shitty condition, too. I mean, it's pretty tattered and worn, and I don't know. It's Stanley Cup for the uh, Super Nintendo, which to be quite honest is probably the shittiest fucking hockey game that they put on the Super Nintendo. The NHL PA game from under that. And you can go around the goddamn back of the net and get a goal every time uh, in NHL 93-94. Uh, it's just, you do a wrap around the goal and just like, huh? Oh shit, the puck's in the net. Oh, oh, it's, just, oh it's already in the net though. Anyways, next, and the biggest part of this, actually, just give me one second, I'll show you guys something else that's new. Until then, you guys can just follow me for now. Now I'm going to have to turn on the light over here a bit because you won't be able to see it otherwise. Here's something else that I got at the flea market, and the price tag's actually still on. Four bucks I got it for, which was, ooh, a bit too close there. There we go. Oh, the lights are right on it too, shitty. Uh, but anyways, it's a big poster of uh, like a old 50s Donner Cafe with the whole Mickey Mouse and Minnie and Goofy and Donald and Daisy. So yeah, I figured that you guys would, uh, wouldn't mind seeing that. It's one of the other things that I got while I was, uh, while I was there, so uh, <clears throat> I wanted to, I guess, show you guys other things that I get as well because I'm not only a game collector, I'm pretty much anything nostalgic and old retro type things, stuff that I grew up with, I'm gonna buy that kind of shit, so. But yeah, the last thing that I managed to snag last minute, just before I went home, there was a couple people inside the road, and my girlfriend was like, hey, you should check out that place, looks like they have a few things, you might have a couple games. 
And I was like, uh, not really interested. I don't think they're gonna have anything. So anyways, I walk over there and first I pick up uh, a C and pick up a PSP. And there was like 10 or 15 games and five extra moves besides. And the price that I got it was $20. And I was like, uh, are you selling that PSP for $20? She said, no, no, that's $120. I was like, um, don't really care much for having a PSP. I'll probably buy one eventually, but until then, I could really give a fuck less. But next to that, I did see something else uh, for $20. Something I didn't have. I, I have a version of this, and I can do it with other stuff as well. But uh, uh, I'm just getting everything out. It came this nice, lovely. Is that it? Yes. Came in this really nice, lovely case right here. And I was like, wow, oh, it's in this camera case. I open it up and I find an original Game Boy Advance. I was pretty fucking stoked. I was like, okay, for $20? I was like, let's see if it turns on. So I'll go and click the switch. And it works! So I was pretty fucking stoked about that. I'm gonna turn it off again, obviously. Third up battery life. Um, and yeah, I was pretty happy about that. And they, they said, yeah, you know, we're selling that for $20. I said, well, you know, do you have any games with it? They said, yeah, there's a couple there in the pouch. So I opened it up. First thing that pops up, I don't know, uh, uh, let's see, if I go this way, here we go. Dora the Explorer, are you fucking shitting me? I was like, oh God, this is a great start. What other fucking games are we gonna have there? Then next was, Again, these are, I guess, all kiddie games that I haven't played. Arthur and the Invisibles or something? Arthur, yeah, Arthur and the Invisibles, the game. Yay! Gabby J! Yay! Um, yeah, I was not too happy with that. And then the next one was like, okay... You know, I've read the book and I don't, they're making a new movie, The Hobbit. I was like, obviously this wasn't made based on either one of those. Maybe, maybe... It was, you know, look, they read the book and maybe might have followed it. Still haven't played any of these games, by the way. Then the next one, I'm like, okay, cool, another advanced game, eh? Namco Museum. And Namco makes, uh, like, Pac-Man and, uh, you know, those type of games, Soul Calibur and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, there's probably a couple fun games in that. And then right at the very bottom, I seen this cartridge upside down, and it was kind of clearish. And it was also a Game Boy Color game. And I was like, oh, well, you know, what is that? He's like, that's kind of weird. It's like, you know, you know, for twenty dollars, I'm probably gonna get this anyways, just for the Game Boy Advance. Then I seen this, the very bottom. And I was like, whoa, what is that game? Flipped it over. It was Pokemon Crystal at the very bottom of the of the pile of games. So, at the very bottom, I found Pokemon Crystal. So it was. Quite, quite, quite a nice surprise to find that down at the bottom. I know it's probably not everyone's favorite, but it was a new Pokemon game for me uh, that I didn't actually have, so I was pretty fucking happy about that. I went online to see how much it was worth. I think it was like 15 or 20 dollars, so this alone was worth what they were selling the advances or the Game Boy Advance for, so I was, I was pretty happy, so I went and bought it, obviously, so. And, uh,. Yeah, I guess that's the end of my uh, flea market buys. Uh, there was one other item that I bought for myself, and my girlfriend actually got three old um, Elvis chocolate uh, Russell Stover cans. They used to have chocolates in them, which are all Elvis um, special, I guess, chocolates or whatever they, they were. And so she got three of those. I think we got them for like, I don't know, a buck or two each. And uh, I also found a Care Bears glass. Ah! Because I, I love the Care Bears. I grew up with the Care Bears. I watched the shit out of that. Oh, it's a rerun. Yeah, okay. Let's watch it again. Because uh, I'm going to make you an honorary Care Bear. And, uh, yeah. So I was pretty happy that that got a tender heart glass. So, uh, and it was one of the old ones. When my uncle and my grandmother, uh, when, when I was living with them or back and forth at their place, they had one of those glasses or several of those glasses. So I was pretty happy. So anyways, guys, that is my flea market finds, my flea market pickups. Uh, that was like a month ago now, but uh, finally got out a new video for it. So as always, thank you guys for watching.
I'm the Old World Gamer. I'll see you guys in the next episode.